Well, hello there, people. It is I, Captain Steve, and today, chums, I've got an Elden Ring video, but it's not me playing Elden Ring. This is news about Elden Ring. So there's some new patch notes that have just come out while I was sleeping over here in the UK. This happens. So let me just bring up my podcast screen. Here we go. Right, oh, so there we go. I was looking at Twitter. Yep. At 3.21 a.m. Yeah, I was very much asleep at that time. Very much asleep. Out came this patch notes over on Twitter space, but if you hit this link here, it takes you over to the Bandai Namco patch page, and here it all is, in all of its glorious detail for you guys to read. Now I'm gonna drop a link to this inside of the video description. Can I make this bigger for you on screen? No, it's not letting me zoom or scale the screen. That's a bit odd, isn't it? Okay, anyhow, hopefully you can read this as good as possible, but what I would say is there's quite a lot of fixes to scaling of weapons and buffing of weapons that don't normally happen have those skills. Now there's a lot of people that have built some very interesting builds for their characters based on some of this scaling and I'm seeing inside of these patch notes that a lot of it's been patched. So if you've got a pretty OP build that you've tweaked especially for like PvP or taking out bosses and things relatively quickly through using ta talismans and other sorts of means of scaling from opposite weapons and other things like that you may want to read through these and you may want to test your character out again because it looks like some of this stuff has been nerfed now i'm scrolling through this fairly slowly uh, but um i would suggest jumping over to these patch notes and taking a quick look especially if you're another content creator as well and uh, you've actually put out content on telling people how to um, you know get these weapons and scale these things and impl uh, put on these buffs because it could be that some of those videos might be a bit null and void now. But there we go, there's um, there's a lot in here to take in. There's also a lot more balancing that's been done here too. Some of it is nerfing and some of it is balancing and making things a little bit greater. So there is a double-edged sword to this patch. And there's also added NPCs and new markers that you can put on the map to pinpoint where you've met these NPCs, which is pretty darn interesting. So there's all the balancing there, but I'll scroll back up to the main thing. The main thing in this has got me excited is the additional elements added. So they've added a function to record an icon and the name of the NPC on the map when you encounter that NPC. Brilliant. That's really cool. I keep forgetting where some NPCs were and I keep jumping around all points of grace near them. There can be a few sometimes, can't there? Added an NPC, Jar Barin. Interesting. I wonder if he is one of the little Jar guys. That'd be pretty cool. Added a new quest phase for the following NPCs. Dalos, Nefeli, Lukes, Kenneth, Hayat, and the gatekeeper, Gustok. Well, I've only come across Nefeli so far, I believe. I may have come across Dalios as well. But yeah, yeah, Nadia, N Nefeli, I believe, is the uh, lady with the big battle axe, and the uh, daughter of the leader of the round table. So yeah, interesting. I may have to go interact with her again. Added some summonable NPCs in multiple situations. Well, there's quite a lot of people that don't play for like PS Plus and stuff like that, or the online element. So they've been finding it hard to play with friends. So adding in places where you can summon in NPCs to assist. I like that. I like that a lot. That's pretty cool. Increase the number of patterns of objects players can imitate when using the Mimic Veil. I've not had the Mimic Veil, so I haven't had to actually do that. But now I'm quite intrigued to get in it. Heck yes. Added night background music for some open field areas. Pretty nice. That's pretty cool. A little bit more atmospherics. Brilliant. A little bit more immersion. So there we go. That's pretty much the bug fixes and the patches and the additional elements. So yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah, pretty big. So yeah, I would strongly suggest checking out some of your builds like I mentioned earlier. But other than that, there's a lot of things in here. There's things that I didn't even know actually happened. Like they fixed a bug that when you get on your horse, it stops your character from freezing. So you know, you're just moving around on your horse and looking static. Not had that happen. A lot of these bugs I haven't actually seen myself, which is great. So yeah, there we go. And uh, enjoy, enjoy Elden Ring. I know I am. Till next time, people. That's your Elden Ring news. Wrap up. Take care. Cheery bye. Yeah.